We're here with Teja, who just won the tournament. Um, when you were down two games, uh, how concerned were you that he might try like a really risky all-in and just try to end it there? I was thinking that I didn't want to do it, so I was thinking that I was going to do it, but 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 I was going to do it. Did it surprise you that in the last games he was willing to play macro games with you, long games? Was this a surprise? Uh, when you got to the fifth game, did the fact that you'd come back from 2 0 down and he'd kind of used up his chances to finish you earlier make you confident in the fifth game? Like, okay, now I'm going to win the game. At the beginning of 2012, I did an interview with MMA, your old teammate from Slayers. And I asked him what is to describe Tasia, and he said Tasia is very skilled, but he is not good on um, on television appearances. Like he, he's not good under pressure. And now, less than a year later, you've won all these tournaments. Like what changed? Oh, 일단 제 플레이 대한 자신감을 갖게 된게 가장 중요한 요인인 것 같아요. Okay, one last thing to ask. Um, in the final. A lot of people were predicting Tejo would make it there as one of the favorites, but perhaps some people did not expect 4GG would make it there. What does he think of 4GG's overall performance at the tournament? Like, did he exceed his own expectations? Uh, please give a final message for any viewers who cheered you on and watched this final. Thank you for cheering me and keep cheering me. Thank you. Come, Samida. Samida.